you are so on point, you hit the nail on the head every time. You've got me in a mess because it's Saturday morning, I'm going to the pictures later, I'm trying to tidy up, you know how it is. Um, but the thing is, I don't pre-write any of my posts, it's just how I feel in the moment and that's why you've got me in this state because I get this quite a lot and anyone that's here for the aftermath knows that this is a hard thing for me to say, that yeah, 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 I'm great. I'm not saying that at all, what I'm saying is I grew up in abuse, I don't know if any of you knew, I may have mentioned it before. Um, but with that growing up under that regime, you gain a specific skill set, not one that you deserved, not one that you desire, but you understand so soon a risk, a threat, a lie, a fake smile, even when things are good, at the back of your mind, you're waiting for a change in a mood. When you live through that, you understand so much about the world around you. But coupled with that, alongside it, you get this inbuilt lack of belief in yourself. It silences you and it smothers you. So the two hand in hand create a pain, a confusion, fearful of all around you because this is how you see the world. You see threats, you see risks, you're constantly searching for escape. And this is where I believe we have a great ability to protect ourselves to understand by using balance and rational thinking and the tools to navigate a sense of peace within ourselves by looking at our trauma and those feelings and segregating the bits that send us into overdrive a trigger by listening to us by feeling us the bits of lack of belief and the hate that we plunge ourselves into, if we can shelve that and pull it away along with the trauma, but take the bits that we gained to benefit us in moving forward, in learning to love us, we were given good v bad into our soul, into our mind. We know how to read a room. We know how to read a lie. We know how to protect ourselves when danger is imminent in our lives. We can use that to protect ourselves. But whilst the pain and the hurt and the anger, and whilst we don't know that that's there, it smothers us and makes us feel like we can go nowhere. So yeah, I think that's a bit of a riddle. But what I'm saying is when you, you're in domestic violence or you grow up in that way or you see that kind of way, you gain specific skill sets. Not just your mind, your whole body reacts to threat everywhere you go. You understand it, you see it like no other because you had a life like no other and some could never uh, even dream of going through but when you start to educate yourself and understand yourself and learn and are able to pinpoint that trauma that irrational the hate that you don't need to give yourself and you learn that you are allowed to love yourself then you can use those tools you were given to better yourself and this is why I see the red flags and I'm able with balance to point them out without it smothering me. I hope that makes sense to you all. Anyhow, I've got to go back to the cleaner. <laughs>